Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Our today's topic is bioenergetics, which is taken from the unit number seven of biology book of grade nine. So guys, let's study about the bioenergetics. What is the bioenergetics? See, so bioenergetics. Before the bioenergetics, you know very well that there are many activities inside the living organism. A living organism perform many of the activities in its body. These include the cell division, the respiration, the growth, irritability, etc. While all these activities are possible because of chemical reaction occurring in the body, we collectively call those chemical reaction as metabolism. While metabolism is of two types: anabolism and catabolism. Some reactions requires energy, while other reactions releases energy. Organisms have very sophisticated system of capturing, storing and utilizing energy. So we are studying how the organism uh, use this energy which is produced by the nature and some basic processes by which the organism capture and store energy. So starting with the bioenergetics, what is the bioenergetics? Bioenergetics is basically a branch of biochemistry in which we study about the transformation of energy in the living organism. Like the energy is transformed from one form to another in all the living organism, like how they form those energy, the, how the energy is formed, how they use them, or and how that energy is stored in their body. All organisms need energy to keep them alive and functioning. So as we, as far as we know, that sun is the ultimate source of energy for all the living organism. However, only autotrophs use this energy directly. They capture the solar energy and convert it into stored chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis. The energy stored in food is then transformed into mechanical and heat energy during respiration. Thus, the two main processes involving energy transformation are photosynthesis and respiration. So, overall in the bioenergetics, the two processes that is the photosynthesis and respiration occur. So for studying the photosynthesis and respiration, first we should know what is the oxidation and reduction reaction, what is its importance. Oxidation. Oxidation is the loss of electrons or the removal of hydrogen from an atom or the gain of oxygen. Like in the react in the equation, I have shown that carbon react with oxygen and it forms carbon dioxide. That means the carbon has gained oxygen. Reduction is opposite to that of oxidation in which gain of electron occurs, right? Then hydrogen uh, is also gained, addition of hydrogen occurs while there is a loss of oxy oxygen. Oxygen is removed from the substance. Like in the reaction I have shown, hydrogen react with sulfur, it will form hydrogen sulfide. Like hydrogen is added in the reaction. If hydrogen is added in the reaction, it means it has, it is then reduction reaction. So in photosynthesis, a chain of oxidation reduction reaction occurs during which the carbon dioxide and waters are combined to make food molecules. Energy is stored in the food molecules. Carbon dioxide and water has combined, they have formed the food molecules and this oxidation reduction reaction, energy is stored in the food molecules. Respiration. In respiration, it is also an oxidation reduction process during which food molecules are broken down into carbon dioxide and water. In these oxidation reduction reaction, energy is released from the food molecule. So energy will be liberated. Now energy has liberated. Now check out this one uh, figure which I have drawn for you. The oxidation and reduction reaction. How the oxidation and reduction reaction occur in, and at which states. The first one equation shows that it is carbon dioxide react with water. It is of the photosynthesis. We are talking about photosynthesis. The carbon dioxide will react with water. It will form the glucose and the oxygen gas will be liberated. Right? Like um, oxygen is released. So in this reaction, what happened? The carbon dioxide is reduced to gluco a glucose molecule. Like what it has done? It has lost hydrogen, sorry, it has lost oxygen while it has gained hydrogen. Then water, what happened to the water? Water is oxidized into oxygen, like it has lost uh, oxygen. So oxy, um, oxygen is liberated, it is oxidized. 
an oxygenous scheme as in this uh, separate molecule as far as the respiration equation is concerned so check out this one equation chemical reaction that is the glucose react with oxygen it will form carbon dioxide and the water will be released and oxygen and energy will also be liberated right the energy will also be liberated but here the carbon uh, the glucose molecule is oxidized because it has lost hydrogen molecule it has lost hydrogen molecule while the oxygen molecule that is um it is reduced because it has gained hydrogen molecule so in this way the all the reaction the oxidation and reduction processes will happen inside the body of an organism and the energy will be liberated which will be used by the organism during the respiration process and it will be stored by the body of the plants during photosynthesis process so hope so guys you have understand the topic in case of any query you can ask the question from me in the comment box below don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel allah hafiz